A simply supported beam under point loading is a beam with supports at set distances along its length. The supports allow horizontal movement but restrict vertical movement. The example shown here features a pin at one end and a simple support at the other. The simple support gives horizontal flexibility. A supported beam under load is in equilibrium due to a reactionary force at each support, in this case RA and RB. The load, focusing downward, is counteracted by an equal force acting in the opposite direction. To calculate the reactions at both points, we need to know the length between points and the exact location of the load. As we know, the beam is in equilibrium, so the sum of RA and RB must be 50 kN. We need to consider that there are also moments caused by the point load. Knowing the beam is in equilibrium is helpful as it means any moments about any given point are also in equilibrium. Clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments. So we can take either RA or RB as a case study. Let's take the moments about reaction RA. So, moments about RA. The 50 kN load is acting clockwise to RA, while RB is anti clockwise. Clockwise, so 50 times 7 equals RB times 12. Therefore, after a rework of the equation, RB equals 29.167 kN. We can then find RA from taking moments about RB. So 50 times 5 equals RA times 12. And finally, we can calculate RA. And just to confirm, the sum of RA, RB does indeed balance out. Adding them adds up to 50 kN. So now we know the point load reaction forces and the distribution between the points. Bending moments can be plotted in the form of a bending moment diagram. This helps identify the peak bending moment position. It can also show whether the moment direction is upward, meaning positive, sometimes referred to as sagging, or focused in a downward direction, this being negative, sometimes referred to as hogging. Let's plot the diagram. We need to work along the length of the beam from one end to the other. I'm going to choose to go from left to right. At point A, we observe the reaction force from the holding pin. So RA times zero length is used. Zero because we have not moved from the end, so RA times zero is zero. Point B represents the 50 kN load. The moment is seven meters from, from the A, so 50 kN times seven equals 350 kilonewtons meter. Point C is a support which opposes the load at 12 meters from A. So B minus RB times 12 equals zero. The bending moment diagram is upwards in direction. This meaning it's positive. This translates as meaning sagging is occurring at point B to the effect of 350 kilonewtons per meter. The shear force diagram shows the effect of the vertical forces on the beam. It plots slightly differently from the bending moment diagram. Again, we are going to work from left to right. At point A, the reaction force is active. The force is drawn constant until we reach the next point load. 
At point B, the shearing crosses to the negative region. The final low case is at C. At this point, the shear effect returns to center. Greatest effect is again observed at point B, where the magnitude of shear force and transition is greatest. And that's a brief introduction to simply supported beams. I hope you enjoyed this video.